I think the process starts really with the school games um, and the preparation there obviously by largely by your school teachers who give of their time to coach in the afternoons. Uh, many of the schools have professional coaches. So out of the school games there's a process of district regional games in some places other school trials and so on. Uh, some have a trials week and so on and then the boys get selected into their provincial sides. Um, and then there's normally a period of preparation. Um, what has happened and evolved over the years is that the, or most of the provinces have selected their teams fairly early and largely identified squads that were normally at the end of term one and then they have winter programs and then they make their final choices normally at the end of October and then they fine-tune those squads, preparatory games, coaching, um, and then also this one, one can see now that the framework coaching system where the coaches have to work with individuals throughout the year is beginning to, to, to bear fruits and you can see that in, in the way the quality of the players that have come through that have been identified earlier and they've got all the support systems not only in terms of cricket skills but off the field support as well. Um, so it's a great initiative by Cricket South Africa to introduce the framework system um, so the boys not only get coached at school level but uh, some of the finer points are looked at by those coaches who spe specifically look after that small group of players. So. Well, I think that's the important part of this is that with somebody who's out there full time, they have the opportunity to go around and engage with people and then to go and observe the talent uh, in, and then to draw them into the system. Um, allied with that is also the hub system, which uh, is working well in identifying and preparing young players in order to get to your better cricketing schools and also to get into the, into, into the main, mainstream coaching system as well. Yeah, so it's a multi-pronged system and I think uh, that is now we're beginning to see the benefits of having introduced that type of system. Yeah, yeah I think that, I mean, the, there are no standout players, there's just a, a, a large group of players who are doing well, who are talented. I think it, it, it's, it's positive for the uh, South African under-19 side uh, going through to the World Cup. Um, but also in terms of opportunities for these young guys, you know, they can knock on the door of the franchises, of the semi-pro sides and so on. Um, they should strengthen our university sides because I'm sure and I hope that many of them are going to go on to tertiary studies. So I think that it, it just means that the base of South African cricket is getting stronger. And I think in the long term that could, that could be wonderful for the country and for the proteas. Now I think, look, I mean, that, that is the benefit of a sport like cricket in terms of the life skills, in terms of the building the self-esteem of the youngsters. It's not a 90 minutes and then we go off. You've got yet to spend the whole day with them. You can talk to them. You can get to know them as people, know what makes them tick. Um, and in that way, you can build the character of the person. So, yeah, I mean, cricket is a fantastic metaphor for life. So we just got to use the opportunity and guide the young people properly in order for them to be able to realize their potential.